Good afternoon. Greetings. Oh, hi, Alexa. Nice to see a few extra linens here today. We'll give people another minute or two. Mostly give me a second. Okay, uh, welcome everyone to user group for October. Uh, this is specifically web focused. We have a number of other user groups. Uh, if you are looking for things like support or um, viewer or simulator, uh, all of those have their own user groups. I encourage you to go find them. Um, ground rules, let's see here. We cannot answer abuse questions. That is not something we can do here. We're not qualified. Um, please bring those to the support team. That should be about it. So let's get started. Uh, I haven't done this in a while. It's been a couple of years. Um, Kira has moved on to bigger and better things, so you're stuck with me again. Uh, I see a few of you that I recognize from before, so hello again. I'm so sorry, but here we are. Just a couple of updates um, in the last month. Uh, the, for the most part, the team has been working on infrastructural updates. We're trying to make uh, the profiles system a little bit more robust, um, something that we can we can actively well, we can keep from, from falling over. Uh, it trips over a lot, so I'm sure you've all noticed. Um, we would like to make that better, and then we can uh, build upon it and actually start adding some features. So largely, we've been occupied with that. We also made a bunch of small tweaks to the marketplace, a number of bug fixes people have been asking for for quite some time. If your favorite bug didn't make it into the release, um, I'm so sorry, please shout at me here and let me know which of the marketplace bugs we forgot to get to, uh, and we'll get to it as soon as we can. Uh, in the meantime, a couple of highlighted features. I uh, did want to point out that um, we uh, gave you the ability to um, move your cart items to a wish list uh, in the middle of all that. And we also, where was my other list? Where did I put it? Somewhere. Oh, right, the, the save for later feature, um, which might be the same feature, to be quite honest. I'm reading from notes that I took in the middle of another meeting. I apologize. We also may have noticed that we released an MFA implementation. It's multi-factor auth for all of you. It's one of my personal, <laughs> thanks Alexa. <laughs> it was one of my personal projects uh, I've been working on for much of this year. Um, so very excited about it. Uh, absolutely look forward to more of that in the future. Right now it protects the accounts pages. So. Uh, passwords and email changes, you know, those are right at the top of the list. Um, cash outs as well. But um, going forward, we're going to start expanding it out to all of the other places that you can log into Second Life. So secondlife.com, Marketplace, and of course, right here in the viewer. Um, these are all different teams, so they take different time, uh, time frames, but coming soon. 
Important to note, you do have to have a verified email account in order to take advantage of MFA. And of course, it is completely optional, completely voluntary on your part. But we do have highly encourage it. It's just a little ad extra added security. I think that's it for updates. Did I miss anything? I'm hearing crickets. I don't think so. Uh, new name changes? New names went out today? Yeah, today. That's right. Um, yeah, sorry about that. We had the, the name change. We, we took it down for a couple of days so we keep the new promo names out. Um, but it's back on. We've got some promo names. We're super excited about them. Uh, they are, of course, very um, October and Halloween focused. Uh, so please take advantage of those. And if you missed out on the last name of Caboose, I'm so sorry. It's not coming back. <laughs> I wanted to change my last name to Caboose. They made me stick with Lyndon. They don't let us change our names. Indeed. Caboose has, in fact, been vamoosed. <laughs> Thanks, Alexa. So you can be trick, treat, lecture, pumpkins, or ghostly. Once again, I think I like ghostly. I want to be read ghostly. <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. Let's get let's get middle names. I like that. No, no, no middle names. That would break. <laughs> That would break everything. <laughs> yeah, no, don't want. Yeah. You joke, but our databases would completely fall over and no one would get to log in. It's a really good way to break your account. <gasps> if you value your account at all, no middle names. Yeah, sorry about that. Maybe someday we can do like an underscore or something. But I doubt it. So there we are. Um, going forward, uh, we are going to start working on a refresh of all of our web properties uh, in terms of just kind of the way they look. Um, we're starting with the in-world search. Uh, so that's search.secondlife.com. You can also reach it on the web, um, but it's also in-world. So we're just gonna, we're gonna start working on search. Um, making it look nicer, making it more relevant, making it sorting easier. Um, we've been listening to wailings and gnashings of teeth for many years. And to be quite honest, we don't, we want to change it too. So uh, that's next up. Separate login names and usernames independent from each other? Uh, we probably, I mean, is there a chance? Sure. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. I think the chance is fairly low based on the architecture of how we have things set up on our side. That being said, I don't think that's a terrible idea. Um, I just think that it would require a, a whole lot of effort to get there. Uh, in Nara, we, um, we do not have a mobile, a uh, specifically mobile implementation at the moment, um, but we are working with, uh, a number of developers to try and come up with something pretty cool. Um, and then we will be, you know, revamping many of our online properties to, uh, work better on mobile. Uh, 
McIntyre, yes. Uh, that might actually be easier than middle names. <laughs> but easier is a relative term. Still incredibly hard, just not impossible. QD, uh, eventually, yeah, the goal is to launch a full mobile app. Um, now, that, that's a long-term, very far in the future goal, but yeah, absolutely. We'd love to be able to run everything on mobile. Um, that being said, yes, the implementation will probably look a little bit more staggered. We won't just wait until we have the whole thing. We'll release individual feature sets along the way. Yeah. No worries, Anara. Um, I think we can open it up to Q&A officially. So hit me. Who's got it? Grumpity's not here, so I can say whatever I want. You know, I don't have more information for you on the iOS status. I'm sorry. Totally understand. Uh, I think you can put our official statement as we have no further info at this time, or no update at this time. Well, if I don't get more questions, I'm going to ask all the Lindens to start griefing y'all. We practiced this morning. I know they're capable. We did. We have great griefer tools. I'm going to use this whole hour. 45 minutes of griefing this, this room. Give it a try. We'll see. I mean, cutie, if I can't answer it, no one can. So <laughs> you only get one shot. <laughs> so wow, one of ego. my questions sorry. no it's okay one of my questions is um, speaking about griefing <laughs> is scripts why is it that everyone is able to create scripts why isn't there a sort of registration process or ver email or account verification before people are able to make scripts Ooh, you did find a question that I can't answer. Um, so that's a policy question, and that is beyond the scope of the the web user group. I am so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Figured. And no. and I have a comment, and and it's just I know that you guys. I've seen your wiki, and you guys have everything scheduled out. Um, you know, different topics for different days. But I think I was trying to go to the. Um, in world meeting with Kristen and Tommy, but they did not show up and that's okay and everything. But do you guys think that you could have more general meetings that way? It, I think the turnout would be a lot bigger and there would be a lot more questions and a lot more um, involvement and participation. I think that's totally possible. Um, what do you, can you describe a little bit more what a, a general meeting? Um, um, like who well, would this like one was, see? 
sure i think i think a little bit of everyone so you guys from the web user uh, kind of group and then some people from security yeah different lindens from different um departments, I guess, and just kind of meeting in one place and being able to answer um, general questions. And I think it should be one big general meeting like, hey, <laughs> come and uh, see what's going on and, and be advertised, because I think a lot of people don't know about these meetings either. I agree with you there. Uh, I do want to um, make these meetings you know, more, I guess, more advertised. I, that's a terrible way of saying that, but uh, I think you get what I mean. Um, broadcast mm -hmm. them louder. We, we do put up the blog posts. Um, sometimes I remember to do a forum post as well, um, but I know that not everybody listens or, you know, reads those. It, it's, it's tough, um, you know, we, to, to kind of get the word out. Um, now, how do you do it if people aren't reading the blogs or looking at the Twitter? Right. Um, but yeah, I, I think some version of a, a more generalized, you know, Q and A uh, style, I think, is a is a really good idea. Um, obviously, we wouldn't be able to do something like that monthly, um, but you know, maybe on a more quarterly basis, it might work something like along those lines. I can certainly bring it to the, you know, to the powers that be. Mm -hmm. This is kind of no just promises. like my last follow up on that um, is so in I know you guys work on the web. So is there any way that you could incorporate announcements or like an announcement tabs specifically from the Lindens or any big events that you guys would be doing in a in a certain tab, maybe? And I think a lot of people would be more connected that way. I, so we get we get requests for that. Um fairly frequently and I know that we so you know like when you go on to the the viewer login page um, at least on our viewer there are there's a whole sidebar of announcements um, that we use uh, I'm not sure how much broader we can get to you know every person that logs into Second Life at least has the opportunity to see that Were you envisioning something separate from that? Um, I think a lot of people are on the client and they use, a lot of people use Firestorm. I remember when I first started logging in um, a lot about two and a half years ago, the first recommendation I got was to download Firestorm mm -hmm. and a third party viewers. Yeah. So yeah, um, I think a lot of people do use at this point Alchemy and other viewers like that. So I'm not sure how that would. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's the dangers of an open source viewer, right? An open source client is that we, as a result, can't really dictate to, um, you know, the, the third party developers exactly what theirs looks like um, and what features it has. There's always the possibility that we could do something where, let's see, we put them into the event calendars as reoccurring events. We could have a specialty thing that is, you know, Linden hosted, uh, but something like that would take a little bit more work for us to get, right. to get that out there. But that way, if people are interested, they could, you know, say, uh, you know, set a reminder for the different ev quote unquote events like you can with any other event. And then you'd get little reminders that popped up And we can okay. see if we can do that as events in general across all of the different teams. So I can talk to uh, I can talk to the other uh, departments about that. Yeah, this is a fun flashback. We get me and Alexa here today. <laughs> all of our past user group runners. <laughs> Alexa has also moved on to bigger and better things, quite literally. She's got more juice than I do. That's a lie. <laughs> but I do, I do get what you're saying, cutie. And um, let's see how we can make these more noticeable. It's not to say that we're we're tired of seeing the same faces here. We like all of you. I'm so excited to see everybody here. 
I just want more because I'm greedy. <laughs> It depends. We've moved more towards trying to keep the knowledge base uh, up to date. Um, and that is a challenge um, in itself. Uh, came one of those things where once upon a time, the, uh, the web uh, or the uh, wiki was open to all. And that became problematic with griefers and editing wars. Uh, so uh, it was locked down to uh, people. Yeah, I know they ruin it fun for everybody. Um, we locked it down and there are certain people that have asked for access to help him keep things up to date. Um, but as a whole, we are trying to move more towards keeping the knowledge base up to date. Um, some exceptions are pages, for instance, that have to do with scripting um, that as far as formats, it's just easier to keep them in the wiki. Our pleasure. Does anyone else have questions? <laughs> that's okay she knows where to find us so it's true i was really i mean i i specifically invited a lot more lindens here so that we could uh we could get all the questions answered and potentially grief everybody but mostly lucia I mean, look, I need backup. You better believe fighter off. <laughs> Susan, I'm, I'm, I'm tempted to say go for it. Uh, but let's, let, let's, let's know, see what I, they can come up with things. first. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I was going to say purple ponies everywhere, but, you know, then we're committed to it. Brooke, largely the changes to Marketplace were infrastructural. Um, so we, we upgraded to a new Debian package, if that means anything to you. Um, but it, it means we are more secure um, and in a, a much better place to build from there. We also fixed a bunch of bugs while we were in there. The, the largest new feature set is the save for later. So moving things from cart into a wish list. You know, that, that is one of the reasons why we have not turned off the old wiki. Uh, we acknowledge that as well. There's just a whole lot of really useful information. I mean, I personally use the wiki uh, fairly frequently. There are places, there are things in there that I can't find elsewhere. Um, yeah. What I will say, uh, what I will say is if you find areas that are out of date, uh, you and you would like to help with editing, uh, you can contact support and let them know. Um, and we can make you an editor. 
or you can send information in and we have a couple of people that uh, when they have time in their schedules uh, help us update. And I do get a fair amount of these emails that come through, so. I am reading in there. Yep, Brooke. We still are. Yep. I will have to say for a company that during COVID went completely work from home, uh, it's pretty amazing that it really doesn't feel any different. I mean, that's one of the great things about having Second Life to do your meetings. You still get to hang out. You still get to make fun memories. Uh, everything that you do face to face. Um, but yeah, it it really hasn't, it hasn't been bad at all. I mean, speak for yourself. I'm covered in hooligan kittens right now. <laughs> and I do miss hugging people, but. Yeah, if you hear any banging through my microphone, it is quite literally two kittens that are trying to destroy my house. I would apologize, but they're just too darn cute. Judy, are you asking for every single time there is a login uh, for you to receive a, an uh, email alert? <laughs> no, nah, well, I worded it that way, but more so, um, I know that a lot of people um, use VPNs, and sometimes when you, on different websites, you'll get a, an account notification that, oh, someone tried to log in from this location. If it's usually something suspect, is that mm -hmm. something that is able to find? Um, it is, it, so in order to get there, um, I'd say that's a very reasonable request. Um, if you feel comfortable, please uh, submit a feature request for that. Um, but I, I would say, yeah, that's, that's on our security list of things okay. to do. I'm with Brooke on this one. Come on. It's, 
my first time back at the wheel. Give me the hard stuff. I'm, I'm happily here to tell you that Second Life is not coming to a dead end. It is going nowhere. We're actually very healthy. I feel better about my tattoo then. <laughs> Second Life for life. Well, there is your problem. Don't listen to open sim users. Cutie, yeah. I mean, if Alexa wants to try and field that one, I'll let her. Um, but you are correct. That's uh, out of scope for this meeting. Yeah, that would be something that would be probably better suited with the uh, server team. When you say more items per page, uh, can you explain a little bit more what you mean by that? Because you can you can select how many results you want, which is I immediately always always bump up to ninety six. Ah, uh, gotcha, thanks. Are there certain categories that you're looking for? Uh, and if so, have you filled out a feature request? Uh, we do feature request triages every Wednesday um, after our all team meeting. Uh, and 
that triage has a representative from all of the different teams of the Second Life product. We have web server, user, UI, etc. Um, and that's where we can review all these types of changes and requests. It's not a public meeting, it's a, an internal meeting that we do. But yeah, we review them every single week. If you make a feature request, we will see it. In fact, most of the people that have Linden after their name sitting at this table are in that meeting. Guilty. Yeah, and we've talked about that in the past. Um, that's not currently on our roadmap. Panther, yeah, I'm with you on that. Um, we're investigating ways that we can make that better. Part of that is uh, search relevance, um, which we are also going to be starting to work on. Um, but you are correct. This largely comes down to creators putting things in the correct category. Um, there are, well, many, many, many thousands of items on the marketplace. We can't police it uh, manually. Right. Uh, happy to entertain uh, any specific subcategories that you think we could use. Um, once again, Alexa is correct. Just enter that feature request. Tell us which one you think we need and um, why you think it's useful and necessary. And uh, we will we'll look into it. I promise you we take those requests seriously.
Last call for questions. Some good crickets. <laughs> All right, well, 243. That's what my clock reads. It's 43 minutes. And we wasted a little bit of time at the beginning. I'd say this is one of the faster ones I've ever run. Uh, I did have a question last month. I don't know if. Uh, y'all were here. I know some of you were. Um, I was wondering how everybody feels about um, like a, a questions and answers um, on your marketplace listings. Uh, if you're not a, uh, a store owner or interested, then, you know, fair enough. But we're, this seems like an interesting idea to me. Um, so the idea is uh, similar to, say, like an Amazon, where a, a potential customer can ask a question, you know, it, does it come in blue, um, which could then be answered by either the, the, the merchant or, or other verified customers. Thoughts? Well, Brooke, let's just pretend that it's not lots of work. It might be lots of work, but for now, let that be my problem. I'm just curious if, if this seems like this would be a useful or desired feature for the community. Yeah, Panther, I, I think an FAQ certainly makes a lot of sense, although, you know, you can put a lot of that in a description. Um, this would be more, potentially more freeform. Um, I, I, in my mind, I think opening it up to anyone can answer uh, potentially opens up to griefing, although that's true across any platform. Uh, there are ways of dealing with that. Um, but certainly... You know, questions could be asked uh, that the, the merchant then is made aware of um, that could then go in and answer them. It does potentially open up merchants for, you know, lots of questions being asked and maybe spurious questions, questions that aren't terribly relevant. Um, we'd have to figure out a way to, to lock that down. We could also lock it down by product. Uh, you could, for example, say this set of products you know, as the merchant, as the seller, I don't want this question and answers feature to be available for these, but this one I do. Yeah, the, the verified purchasers is um, both difficult to track uh, in some ways, um, and also, I agree, a little bit risky. Certainly, we wouldn't want it open out to, you know, free items, because that just, that just seems like a vector for spam.
No, not necessarily, Cutie. Um, I don't know that it would have to just be the merchant. Uh, it could be we might be able to give the ability to designate, um, you know, an assistant or a designated answerer, uh, similar to the way we do on, say, your private region, um, where you can designate estate owners or estate managers. Pardon me. Um, I don't know. I'm still I'm still workshopping it, and hence asking questions. Seems like a good feature to me. Generally, I like to iterate. Um, so uh, it is possible that we would at least at first to do it so that it was just the merchants uh, and then down the line, open it up to allowing merchants to designate assistance. I mean, being able to designate assistance can do you know, lots of other things too. Gifts to the marketplace. Mm, maybe. Is that KG enough for you? I won't say no, but I can't say yes right now. Um, to be a little bit more explicit, uh, that, that largely comes down to um, whether we're able to host and um, distribute the, the larger format. So it's not a no, we would never want to do that. It's more, um, are we able to? Uh, Paul Cian, I appreciate that uh, question and or comment. Thank you uh, for leaving it. Unfortunately, you are correct. This is not the right forum. Um, I encourage you to submit a feature request or bring it up in the, the support user groups, potential, or the governance user group, pardon me. I believe they have one of those. They do. Yeah, QD gifts are just there's it's just a lot more horsepower required uh, across the board than a static image. So, and we have to, you know, you have to essentially plan for and create infrastructure for every single marketplace listing having one, right? So, I can't say yes without knowing exactly what that would look like infrastructurally. So that's where my maybe comes from.
always is a strong word, um, but yes, uh, for the foreseeable future, they will be selected by staff. We have no plans of currently changing that. I'm unclear what you mean by the destinations being more relevant. I may have you, missed something. You mentioned earlier that you were kind of changing how people would search destinations because they needed to be more relevant or you got a lot sure, of complaints it's, about that. So if they're all staff picked, how is the order of how they're presented changing? How's so that? They could, that honestly comes down to the way that we change the underlying search mechanics. Um, so sorting and uh, ranking of relevancy uh, is actually uh, a product of, of the actual search algorithm. Um, it can be in conjunction with, uh, you know, like tags or something that maybe staff is setting on our side when we choose a destination um, to allow that to be slightly more relevant. But largely will come down to uh, optimizing the algorithm. We're getting close. Four minutes. Quick, quick, while the mods aren't watching. Thanks, Colleen. Um, no, it's not a terribly silly question. I don't think that would be driven by the web development team, but it would certainly could be driven by our marketing team. Do you mean kind of like, uh, kind of like Seraphim, all the Seraphim mm. account? Right, events? right. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's a good question. I mean, most of those are, are put as show and search so that people can find them if you know they're searching events but that's a that's a good question um 
That's a really good question because I know personally I use Seraphim. I follow Seraphim on Twitter. I follow them on Facebook. I check in the page every morning and figure out what I'm going to do shopping in the evening. Um, so, yeah, that's a good idea. I'd have to figure out, uh, you know, as a team, how we would implement that so that it is fair for anyone that does events. and what type of events, shopping events versus other things. So we'd kind of have to look at it and figure out the most efficient way of doing it. But yeah, the sites that do those are really, really handy. Do they have something like that for penguins? I, I have not seen a penguin specific event, Reed, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. They're not approved. All the free mackerel. Yeah. Until there's penguin. <laughs> I don't know. It's got an uphill battle. <laughs> Coming this winter. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I'm super behind that. <laughs> Anybody wants to make that happen, I'll help. I'll ping a few people. Okay, on that note, we are at time, 3 o'clock. Thank you for the hour. Uh, I am sorry if I bored or made a terrible joke. I almost certainly did. Come back next month. We'll do it all again. We pay Bring extra for those. For the Thank terrible you jokes? All. Yeah. That's like a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> oh man have i got a few for you then <laughs> thank you all so much for giving us an hour of your day have a great week and thank you for making second life is as amazing as it is uh you guys are what make this worthwhile so thank you wow you are so much more huggy than grumpity is this is great <laughs> i'm all the hugs man man Company used to just be like, nah, I'm out. <laughs> this is my home. She Welcome has a name to live anytime. up to. <laughs> she does. It does. Long may what? she reign. Griffer, Griffer Linden. <laughs> <laughs> Works for Linden Laps. <laughs> I'm going to suggest that to the next QA person we hire. Griffer. Griff yeah, at least Griff, right? Like, we could do a Griff right? thing. Oh, man. I got to put in for that a name change. Like, that might make it past HR. They probably then I, wouldn't even know the reference. See, if I change my name, then I can stop calling my Alexa Echo. And, you know, then everybody's, <laughs> uh, you know, Alexas in their house would not constantly go off during meetings. <laughs> uh, you should hear me having conversations in my house uh, about work. It's, it's frequently like, no, I wasn't talking to you, Echo. Shut up. <laughs> Talking about my coworker. <laughs> you. Thanks, so. all. Well, that turned off. <laughs> yeah, same here. All right. Cheers. Bye.